Welcome to this class. Yes. So we want to give you a Today the day of Today is the day of Today is the day of Today is um, the end of the session get together of the school whom the price given day for the best performing students it has been wonderful and um, we know i have to today because it's been a, a, a each free year for all the cover of school we believe that the subsequent session will be much better than what we have this time around. For instance, this year we have uh, people that are graduating from um, primary school and we have also some other people moving from one class to the other. The one um, terminal class like nursery to primary school and no we have seen how they have performed today we are very happy as the owners and the investor in education in this country now we are also happy because our sacrifice has paid off we know that you know this is the only way we can give back to the society we also have some alumni there's some students that have left this school that have come here to give testimonies of how you know whatever they have learned or the knowledge they have gained in this school has been very useful to them in every any other place all the places that they have been so we want to thank god that this is happening today and uh, also thank our parents that have supported us this far we know that we continue to get support from them subsequent years thank you very much so uh we are mr and mrs aina parent of uh apikomi so far as i know uh we are glad to be here uh because this is a journey that started yesterday 2017 to be precise and it has been a pleasant and a beautiful journey uh obviously it was god that actually directed our paths to this uh Good. Uh, because we are looking for, we just came back from uh, Warri to Lido and we are actually looking for a school that we can help our children and God directed us to this place and uh, mm -hmm. with that sense of uh, humility I want to say that we are not disappointed mm -hmm. uh, and God has been so gracious and we can see the impact of the school in the life of the children uh, they are doing well, both morally, academically, and spiritually. So we want to thank the management, the teachers, uh, everybody in the school that contributed in no small measure to the development of our children. So probably maybe my wife can say one of the to me, it's a day of joy, uh, it's a day of relief. Like I was telling my husband before we came that uh, the journey of Friday school will be sent yet, and uh, the Lord is making it end well with us. I remember when we started, and now we are ending it, not just ending it, ending it very well. I want to appreciate God for his mercies, his provision. I want to appreciate the management. I want to appreciate uh, how they have nurtured these children. The one that passed out from here is doing very well in our school. You know, 
very well. And I want to believe that this one that is going out today is going to do very well. So I want to appreciate the school management. God bless you. God will continue to strengthen the people in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we are here today for the uh, head of session party. And sincerely, it has been really fun. We enjoyed ourselves. The school is a very great school. We've been in this school for about some years now, and they have been training our children. We see them because they excel. Even when they leave the school, they still going to excel. It's a very good school. Um, today we are celebrating the graduates. We are also celebrating the teachers who have uh, impacted so much in the life of these uh, children. Uh, the school is the second home. The school is the second home for the graduates and all the copies. They have nurtured them well. They have uh, given them the best. And uh, the best way to measure success is through achievements. We have seen all their achievements. The school indeed has done so much for them. And I pray that God Almighty will continue to help them. The school is going to move forward in the name of Jesus. And uh, they, will be, they, have, they have given them the right foundation. They will go out there and represent the school. They will not put the school to shame. And I will pray that uh, they shall have reason to rejoice over these children in the name of Jesus. Amen. I will wish the school more progress, good health for the HOS and the school director, and good health for all the teachers as well. Thank you very much. This is our barista, Mrs. Aloja. Engineer Aloja. Jesus, our Father, we thank you for bringing us here today. Father, we appreciate you for your faithfulness over our lives and our family members. We say be that we are exalted in Jesus' name. He said, commit your ways to the hands of the Lord and he will bring you to backs. Father, we commit this meeting into your hands. We ask that you perfect all our expectations in this meeting in the name of Jesus. And Father, we ask that you come and take absolute control. Let every bit of this meeting bring glory to your name and the blessings to us. For in Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Bless you, sir. Uh, we are going to continue with the program. We we'll check it. Okay, you are going to with the national anthem and the school anthem. So, why we. Nigeria, we
never, 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 never leave it off school. Mr. Mrs. Abiola, Mr. Come to the high table. I don't think she's around. Yes, you're welcome, sir. That's the director of the show. Who is? Say director! Say director! You're welcome, sir. I said to we have many pastors in the house. Many pastors in the house. In fact, yeah, Mr. Adeboyega. My very good daughter, and she's um, the proprietress of Ellis Spring School, Mrs. Ogumbi. You are welcome. God bless you. Mother Ogumbi. Mrs. Bakari, your name is there. We said all graduate parents. Is uh, Mr. Yomi mistake? Emma Bino. Oh, you should have said all graduate parents are something. That is how we used to do it. Because you are the Emma Binu. Emma Binuma. All graduate parents should be on the high table. All graduate parents. Emma Binu mistake. Emma Binu should be. Let us yamma for her. Clap for her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank God for this day. For bringing us to this glorious occasion. I want to say a big thank you to every family that is here. Thank you for your time. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Welcome, address by Mrs. Adedeji. Some of us don't know what that means. I will tell you some other time. HS of Comfort School, Ego Rodi. Good day, everyone. 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 Thank you so much for being here. I have a million and one thing to say, but I will not, but I will be quick and not bore you with a long speech. I want to give thanks and praises to God first for all the amazing things that have happened in this session. It is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. Eshe ibi seti zere. Eshe ibi zevade. Adu pe o Jesus, ibi te mu alo. Eshe, if you know this song, please try it. Please join me to sing this wonderful song. Eshe ibi te ti bere, eshe ibi te vade. Adu pe o Jesus, ibi te mu alo, mi bi te. Eshe ibi te vade adu pe o Jesu ibi te mu alo praise the Lord. We've come to the end of yet another road. Our champions are moving on to the next chapter of their lives. Whether it is another class here in Comfort B School or to boarding schools, we are delighted and immensely grateful to God for the transformation that has occurred within them and the obvious physical manifestation that we see. It is truly rewarding to do what we do. This is yet another opportunity to thank conforming parents for their trust in us over the years. The support and encouragement we receive are second to none. Thank you for trusting us and having faith in us to teach, to inspire, transform, and nurture great minds. Your champions are priority. There were many choices, but you choose comfort and is our comfort. Your children will call you blessed for all you do for them. 
to my dear educators, our indefatigable teachers. I appreciate the love you have, you have for the children, how you go beyond the cause of duty, how you work tirelessly to make sure every child is well-rounded, is well-rounded. And I must not forget how you put up with FCIB to my adorable daughter, also to my adorable daughter, Oluwapu Kwame Blessing, Adedeji, who is the chief anchor for choreography, ballet, and anything dance today. The Lord will bless you, and you will reign and dine with kings. To my wonderful boys, I want to say thank you. Also to my boys of Guinness Mabel Value for Thank you for understanding mommy loads of activities. God bless and favor you. This graduation and prize given day is another way to commend hard work, hard and smart work, and to show off the talent in the 21st century skill that we are already seeing in our students and pupils. Regardless of whatever, or regardless of what you get or do not receive today, be inspired to do more, more next time. Never ever settle for less, because you because you believe you have you have this level of success. As you may know, success is really loyal to those who put in the art and smart work. It is of utmost importance to mention here that every child is unique in their own way. We do not have culture. We do not have a culture of unhealthy competition among our parents or children here in comfort school. Every child is created specially by the master creator, and as a result, we celebrate their uniqueness. What a child receives or, or does not receive today is not a measure of that child's worth. They are what? The prices. They are simply to motivate or inspire us as parents, children, and at school to do more and be, and be the best version of ourselves every single day. We are proud of every single pupil, students, and the effort they have put in, and we know that there is room to do more. So as going pupils, keep toiling, watch and pray. Study to show yourself, yourself approved. Go beyond the curriculums. That is what we have taught you here. I will not end this thing without appreciating our older parents. Thank you for standing by us when we barely had enough until now. Mr. and Mrs. I know. God bless you. Thank you. Engineer and Barrister Oloja, you are wonderful. Mr. and Mrs. Otebola, Mr. and Mrs. Alausa, Mr. and Mrs. Akalasu, Mr. and Mrs. Osasu. These are parents that started with us for foundation. Some of them joined us when they were in crash. Some joined in the school from joining nursery and they are still with us today. I want to thank God for every I'm so happy to have seen you and your family rise high in your careers and all the effort and support you, you make towards your children education and your children's school Comfortville. Thank you for all you do for Comfortville School. We greet and appreciate you all. In conclusion Dear pupils and students, I want you to listen to me. Students, I want you to listen to me. Are you hearing me? Especially to those of us in college and those of us that are graduating to GS1. Not everyone will believe in you, but you must believe in yourself. Know that you can do it and you are more than enough. The negative opinion of others are for them to deal with. It is none of your business. Do you hear that? Don't always count eh, on negative opinions. We have always we taught you what DIY. You can do all things through who? Through Christ that strengthens you. And God will help you and you will all be successful in Jesus' name. We thank you to all who trusted us and are still trusting us. As summer slash kickstart on Monday, 
29, July 2024. It's promised to be educative and fun filled. Join us and experience great and unforgettable memories with which everyone is still turning back to your destination. I remain your uncle, my uncle self, Mrs. Olai Emiadejeje. Thank you. Yes, I like this innovation. We will do this one hour children. I like this innovation. This kind of innovation you are giving to our countries to encourage them to start ahead. It's not easy to start from this table. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Now, yes, let me come here. Here, 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 please. to primary and from the primary to secondary school. Hello, it's everybody for you. Wonderful. Okay, it's time to decorate them so they can go and sit down. Okay, where is okay, where is Solani mom? Who is representing Solani? Solani come, where is your mom? Who is representing? Where is Jason? Who is representing Jason? No, for you brought him. Who brought him? The mom. The mom brought him and dropped him. Stay now. Okay. okay. How about Tolani? Anybody representing? Yeah, one more lorry. Pray for your child. Someone say, why are we graduating? He had to rise out to nursery. And I said, the person that is graduating to JS1 started some way. Yeah. It's an achievement. Some of their mates started together, some are no more, some are in the hospital. The children that died in the just uh, incidents. They are babies, they are children of 10, GS1, GS2 primary. A parent lost four children. Four, all the children that he had, only, and immediately the father died. So let's thank God that we are alive to witness this. And Lord God, Jesus, show my genius for our children. Will not labor in vain over our children. Daddy, Pastor Adams, please come and pray for this one. These wonderful children, God gives to us. It is not easy to train a child, that's a baby, that's a crash. And my old school fees, you see. And the child is graduating, going to college. The champions, for the champions, stand up, stand up. Stand up for the champions, for the champions, stand up for the champions, for the champions, stand up, stand up, stand up for the champions, for the champions, stand up. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, it's getting close. Yes. Celebrate them, celebrate them. Don't be them. Let them be you. That you are by them. Thank you very much. Go ahead, be ready. Come on, move away from me. Stand up, stand up for the champions. For the champions, stand up, stand up, stand up for the champions. For the champions, stand up. Hold on, you are so wonderful. Are you a brother or? Okay, you are welcome, sir. I also want to welcome into our miss the presence of Mrs. Adeyemi, one of the garden's parents here. Mrs. Adeyemi? Please, wherever you are, let's see you.
What these children are doing is not easy. Let's appreciate them. Let's encourage them with whatever we have, please. I know you can do more than this. Yes. Mommy Diana, where are you? Your child is communicating to you in display. Ah, Mommy Diana, where is she? Uh -huh. I'm not talking. Mrs. Alabi, where are you? Mrs. Oni, appreciate your daughter. the etiquette presentation
from my class. It's it says nothing from you. Thank you. Thank you as you try to make the world a better place. Etiquette a good manners. Etiquette a good manners. Etiquette a good manners. You should practice. Etiquette. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. Hang on. Thank you. Please let me come in. Please. Daddy, she just passed it to you now. Are you here? Uh -huh. Clap for her, clap for her. Let's see. Now, can you say it again? Oh, oh, always greet when you come across people. It takes nothing from you. Yeah, now. <laughs> so please give us something. Or something. Clap for this mommy. Wonderful mommy. Yes. Is your daddy here? Mommy is here? Yes. Okay. Please look at the height table. Choose at least temporary daddy to, for today. No temporary daddy, not permanent daddy. Choose any other daddy here. Of our daddy's here. I know. I know who she will point to. Any of the daddies, don't worry. Choose any of the daddies here. Time is running out. Just speak, speak a hand. Hey. Is there our pastor, Miss Mr. Imagidon? Have you? Okay, pastor, come. Yes. I trust our pastor. Now, you are going to repeat again what you said earlier. Do not rush, but always take turns. Yeah. Huh? Okay, please celebrate her. Thank you. At least we will collect it. <laughs> Is Daddy here? Do you like God, Daddy, or Mommy? Dad. Dad, please, you are welcome. Dad, come in. Yes, that is engineer or lodger. So, repeat what you just said earlier. Do not rush what is always take turns. Do you hear me? Calm down. Calm down. Okay, that is not yours. Do not go to places where you are not invited. It doesn't matter about your personality. Do not go to. Daddy, wait, Daddy. Were you invited here? Yeah. Uh -huh. That is it. So at least you have to follow what your son says. Celebrate him. I trust. You have to say once again, no, don't worry. I can go to the next program. Head boy presentation. The time of speech. You ready? Thank you, Daddy. Yes, he's. 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 Yes, Say it again. Grandma, come, please come forward. Yes, that is the chairman, a uh, chairperson of today represented. Say it. Ask for permission before you take other people's things. Oh, this is common. This is common. Always ask for permission before you take other people's things. Yes. Thank you. Drop it. It's your own. Donor. Just drop it. Drop, drop everything. You are the owner. We'll give it to you after the program. Yes, it's mommy here. Is daddy here? Okay, go. This time around, don't choose daddy. Choose one of the mummies here to represent you uh, temporarily today. One of the mummies. Ebo Jusoki, you are your. Pick for my mommy. Mommy, you are the one, she called. Yes. Yes. Uh, now, no, mommy, you want, want to say to mommy what you said earlier? Dad and mom, don't. Do not drive. When driving, do not splash water on passers by. That's not polite. Oh, this one happened to me one of these days. I was dressed in white. That day it was raining. If you see the way the man splashed water on me, I had to go back home to dress again. So, let's go. Those of all that God has provided car for us, so let us try to drive well. Don't splash water on people who are passing by. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy. Yes, is Mommy here? What up, Daddy? No. Mommy, please come out. Let's see, Mommy. That is Mrs. Akinsoya. Yes. You're welcome. Now, say it again. When you call, please all the bells learn how to say excuse me. Wait. Oh. Where you know? Miss, um, where's Mrs. Miss Rachel? But that is a diction teacher. Miss Rachel? Mrs. Rachel, Mrs. Rachel, where are you? Okay, mom, did you hear what she said? Come, come. Now, you said you heard it. 
She said, when you belch, sneeze, then now to say sorry. When you call, sneeze, or belch, then now to say excuse me. When you call, belch, and sneeze, then now to say sorry. Oh, clap for this wonderful girl. Thank you. And that is not easy. At least, they are showing what you are paying for. Thank you, thank you. Yes, is daddy here? Mommy? Okay, this time I will go to the high table. You go to this other seat here. Choose. Daddy is. Okay. No, no, no. Yes? Pick, pick on time. There are beautiful pieces and handsome pieces here. You can pick from. Oh, don't point your left hand. Point your right hand. Okay, Mr. Alabi, right? Good up, Mr. Alabi, come on. Yes. Yes. You are behind him. Top of Do not fart in a public place. Please use the restroom. Oh, wonder, did you hear him? <laughs> yes, but if one is pressed, Inko, what should we do? Eh? You know, even scientists, in, in, in science, it was proved that if one fats, is even healthy to the body. Eh, but you are take excuse, right? Use the uh, right place. Thank you. Now, you have to balance the equation. Mommy, this time around, you are welcome. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, before mommy comes, let's hear you again. Do not put on your phone. Parents, when you go to church, do not put on your phone while the pastor is preaching. It means I am disrespecting God. Oh. I know many parents are guilty of this. Old. Many parents are guilty. When in the church, they use their phone. It's not good. Take, drop the money, it is yours, don't worry, we we'll give you at the end of the program. Yes. Always obey traffic rules, don't join the crowd. Oh, don't, mommy, do you have a car? Have you listened to your boy now? Yes, celebrate him. Oh, lovely. Yes, as usual, as usual, as usual. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> is that here? Mom? Yes. yes. This is Hepsiba. Mom, Hepsiba, you're welcome. Oh, look alike. First, you take after your mom. In terms of the hairstyle, cheek. In Come, mom. Say it again. Always greet when you come across people on the road. It takes nothing from you. Wow, lovely. Mom, that message is understood, right? Thank you. Drop it. Yes. We thank you very much. So you sing the song again and then you go back to your school. Educator patient. The school director, as we should get some honor. The era school. Our parents. Let us just start up on the school. My dear for graduates who made it right, ladies and gentlemen. A very pleasant afternoon to you all. Today is a memorable day for all of us because we just ended an episode in our lives, the elementary school life. Now we are about to start a new chapter of our journey, the high school. Our armor master of values are more exercise intelligence. This will greatly help us improve in our behavior within our academics. Indeed, we are in the right school. Our graduation today is the first in the series of our company shared that we surely achieve with the guidance of our parents and people around us. As we said that this goes to the head of school in first of which is identity online and him, who has been working tightly to make sure we do well in terms of more and academics, we will not disappoint him. A special thank you also to our students and in the participable teacher, most especially Mr. Ami. Thank you for touching and watching us. Thank you for all the corrections. We appreciate you all for your unending love. God Almighty will not forget your labor of love. We call all your efforts. I also like to inform us that I, as you may not care for us, the ever this great year of learning.
completion. I get this, I will recognize. You appreciate if I will not in comfort with you. A true well based mind and natural, truly as we all in our land, with which we see, you will reap the fruit of your labor. We shall continue to make you proud, we love you. Once again, you are welcome to this location. Expect an entertaining and fun to gathering. Thank you. Let's celebrate him. I have a testimony concerning Aki Kumi I know. I'm so proud, I'm emotional right now about this wonderful boy. Aki Kumi got to this school three years old. Am I right? He couldn't even identify or talk. And at that time, I was his teacher in preschool one. It was not supposed to be in preschool one when he got to our school. It was supposed to be in preschool two. But because he couldn't even identify. I remember in the class then when I would be te teaching him and say, I think, I would look at him and say, and I asked mom, I'm on you, so on, I'm so on late. And we started. And to the glory of God, from preschool one, today, a egg boy of comfort B school. Not by choice, by merit. I want to thank God for this wonderful boy. You will go play this and you come, and the Lord will bless you. In comfort B school, we nurture great minds. And that's why I always say, my foundation is my foundation. And when you bring other children that are not our foundation, we try all our best, all possible best, to make sure that they are what? They are nurtured to that great man. I am parented that I started from us, from that foundation. And they, can, they are here, they can testify to it. That their children are making them proud wherever they are. So, Mommy Agikumi, I want to say thank you. Agikumi, um, sister to pass her from this, in fact, our air girl of 20, 20, 20, 120, no, 2020. That's the sister, 2020, 2021. And they are all doing wonderfully. When time comes, when the time comes, you will hear from our, our mama. They are all here. Our mama of comfort this school. Raise up your hand. Where are you? God bless you. God bless you. More are coming. I, okay. And she's going. God bless you, man. And mommy. Mommy Oloja and um, Mommy Aino. So you start with Mommy Aino. Mommy Aino, come and give us. Good afternoon, everyone. You are not answering me. Good afternoon, Sasan Man. Uh, we are very grateful to be here uh, today. I just want to add one or two things to what Esho has said concerning my son. You know, he came here, he repeated that preschool one. But to the glory of God, in this same school, he was given double promotion from primary two to primary four. And it looked as if it was not going to flow, but before you know it, he was able to go, and he's doing excellently well. Where he, the exam he, he took, as in the secondary school he's going, he passed and he did it very well, he passed very well. I really want to appreciate God for that. Uh, I want to encourage students, this is a place to be. This is a school to be. The elder sister that is in, in that secondary school, doing very well in that secondary school. She too started from primary two years, she finished there. So please, let's be patient with HOS, let's be patient with Comfort B. Let us children finish from here. You will testify. Praise the Lord. Thanks for listening. Now, uh, I want to talk on how can parents and the school come together to fight late coming of parents in picking up their words after closing are uh, uh, from school. I want to start by saying in every institution there are laws, there are rules 
and regulations. In fact, if you don't have rules and regulations, you see everything will just be in chaos, will be in disorder. So it is not out of place for Comfort Beach School to have a specific time to bring your children, to bring your words, and to come and pick them. So it is very normal for an organized institution. And because of that, we are supposed to be law-abiding citizens, not regarding the fact that I is it not comfort with where my small children are going. We should be law-abiding uh, because God also wants us to obey authorities. There is always a consequence for not obeying. Whatever you do today, there is a consequence. It might be today or in the future. So when you are giving rules and regulations, let's put it in mind, no matter where it's being given, to obey. One of the consequences of not obeying is the impact of disobedience of, on our children. The impact of disobedience on our children. Because these children, what I have come are to realize from my own children, the way I'm raising them, those things that you count as good virtues, they don't pick it on time. They don't pick them up on time. But those ones that are not fine, you know, my husband does not want you to put bottle from the fridge and put it in your mouth. Use a glass cup. For me, I, I have my own bottle. I like to say this is my bottle so I, I can put it in my mouth. But my children, they would like to put bottles in their mouth. They will not obey their daddy that says use your glass cup or use your cup. But me, I like to pray. But none of, none of them will you want to force them pray. Why are they not picking that prayer point as a prayer version for me? Why is it that picking something from the uh, fridge and drinking it directly, that's what they are picking for me? That's how stupid children are. They pick the bad ones easily. So when you have the attitude of disobedience, you, you come to school late, you come to pick them late, they grow up like that so that when they become adults, you see them, they are not law abiding. So one of the major consequences is the impact on these children. So let us lay good examples for them so that they will grow up to be good adults. Then, late coming in picking our children after school is not a positive attitude. It's not a positive attitude. Uh, however, there might be situations that will make us not to come early to pick our children. It has happened to me one or two times, you know, in the course of raising them in comfort the, 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 uh, comfort this school. So what do you do when such things happen? How do we save, solve the problem? Number one, once there is an emergency, it is right and it is cautious if you call. The admin, the HOS, Mr. Yomi, the head of school, please, I will be coming late or make arrangements of how your children is going to leave the school. Number one, cultivate the habit of obeying rules and regulation. Do not take them for granted. Let it be in you. The school said we close by three. We can give you, you know, extra time of 30 minutes. Let it be part of you. Don't you know, commonize it and don't look down on the school. Who is, who is saying that? Let us learn. Let us let it be part of us to obey rules and regulation. Number two, how do we solve this problem? A mutual understanding and agreement must be between the parents and the school. If perhaps the kind of work you do or your business will not make you to come to school on time to pick your children, meet the issuers, meet the teacher, arrange. Let them be emotional understanding. How do we go about these things? Oh, somebody is coming to be picking them. This is where you can help me to, you know, drop them. The gate man will close by five o'clock. Let the boy or the guest stay with the gate man till the, you know, till I come. Let there be mutual agreements and uh, understanding between the school and the parents. Number three, in case of human destiny, the parents should call to make this known to the school and to arrange how the people will be collected. Let us talk. Let us not just take for granted that uh, they can't just send my word away. So let them let the word stay with them. Let's cultivate the habit of making calls. Another one is seek assistance in case you have a job or business that is keeping you. 
uh, even from coming. What's the assistant that I mean here? Yeah? Assistant from outside, maybe somebody will be coming to pick your word, uh, or you can even allow the school to assist you in their home way. They can help you once they realize uh, your, your situation. Uh, number five, uh, I want to encourage the school as well that the school should be patient. I want to push patience, long suffering, tolerance. Don't say, ah, this person is always coming late, or this person did not call. Because of that, you just take some decisions. I want to appeal to the school, please let's be patient, let's tolerate our parents, and I pray that in this new session we want to enter, we will not have such cases of uh, parents coming late to pick up uh, 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 children, and everything will go on well uh, in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening. Um, director and HOS and our wonderful grandparents, congratulations on today. And I pray you all always have reason to celebrate in Jesus' name. Okay, so I'm here to talk about if it is good to beat children. Like, I know if we are to take a poll now, a lot of us will have issues. We'll be able, we'll be caught in that web of I beat my children, right? Or is there any prayer here, here that doesn't spank their children at all? Is there anyone? You don't spank your children? Oh, fantastic. Well done. So you are the only one amongst us. Very good. Actually, it's not as if it's not good to spank children. But really, they should be corrected. Correct correction doesn't mean rod every time using the cane on them. At least there should be time that we will speak with them, co correct them with our actions, with correct them with our words, at least when you want your child to do a certain thing, you yourself, you need to set the precedent for it. You need to set the example. Let's say, for instance, you don't want your child to watch TV for too long, or you don't want them playing for too long on their tab. You also need to be able to, watch, to put restriction on how long you use your phone. But there are times that it's inevitable to spank children. So definitely we'll have to spank them, but not so much. Because the Bible says, spare the rod and spoil the child. Now, another thing that I would like to also mention for parents is, let's say you have three children playing together and they are all siblings, and then one is reporting this one, and then you will now come and beat this one for this one. That is wrong. What I do in my house, I serve round. Even you are crying or you are not crying, you receive the punishment. I always serve round. I don't say, oh, because uh, this one is small, so I will not be the older ones. I serve round everybody. So once you know that, even though you are crying, you will still get beaten. Everybody will try to adjust themselves. So, of course, it is good to <coughs> correct our children when they misbehave or when they are disobedient. But at least we should ensure that uh, we, we, we put caution to it. We, we, there's moderation. Not everything should be excessive. Now, um, before I go on, I, I have some questions I want to ask parents. Should I go on? Do parents have questions they want to ask? Okay, so we're going to take a poll of if it is okay to give our children moderation, moderation punishment. He said, you know, like for instance, I didn't, I think I didn't specify moderation punishment. Instead of you beating them, you can give them timeouts, like say, oh, face the wall, you know, give them different kind of punishment, not like beating, beating with K. So that's what I mean when I say I stand around. Like, when I come there and there's fight, okay, three of you face the wall, four of you face the wall, everybody will face the wall, until when everybody is calm. Do you understand? Instead of you using the cane on them every now and then. And also, there could be times that you will hold back um, things from them. Let's say you want to take them out for pizza uh, or, 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 or ice cream, you tell them, okay, because you misbehave, you won't be going out today. You have to stay at home. Or even, even if it's not, eat, 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 eat. Maybe you just want to go out again. I would have taken you out today, but because you misbehave, then you have to stay at home. You know, so all of this will a bit, you know, modify them. And also, I mentioned earlier that we parents too, we need to set examples. We don't just expect the children to do what you say, but you to the, you should be able to do as I do. Not just oh, I've said don't go and play outside. I've said no TV by this time. But 
some parents will be on um, African Magic 247. So all these things need to be regulated and moderated. So my question to parents is this, do we support that we should apply moderation when we are dealing with our children and it should not be beating, beating, beating? Do we all agree? Thank you very much, uh, Barista. My question is on um, some of some of our parents. Let me no, no, let me get the parents generally. They will call you in the school. You know, they should not me. Ever mommy, ma. And these same parents, eh? When when the child tells you how the mother beats him or her at all, the school, some of them want to They now wonder what happened. The school is meant to discipline and correct children in love. Because the comfort way we don't use care, but there is a way we correct our children in love. Who is it appearance? They can be the children at all, but in school, then you should not be. It's to correct the child. Don't let it get to a, a, the extent that the child, it will affect the child mentally, or to make the child feel that, ah, you want to call you are the only naughty child in this whole school. Every child has their own. There are some children that, yes, they are very excellent, you know, in, in behavior and with their school work, but they are very crafty. Yes, I have, I have one of them that is very crafty. When you say something, he has a response for you. If you tell him that, ah, Hey, you just know that one now. Hey, hey, you are not doing this. I know, I know you very well. Hey, hey, have you packed your bag? And so, you know, that's a rude answer. He will just give you like that, and he will give it to his other brother too. And so, he will say, ah, go and pack your plate. Hey, hey, and so, ah. Do you understand? So, you, the boy is very intelligent, but he's also very crafty. We will even push them, you push them. You say, hey, you go and ask for TV. When you now come, hey, 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 TV. I'm not jail. They don't ask her. Oh no, I can't make it. She understands. So, when you, so even though they are not coming out as the vocal one, I have the very vocal one. I'll say, "Mommy, I want TV. Mommy, I want to go out." Mom, they, they say, "Mom, he's a younger one telling me, oh, oh, I ask mommy, oh, now what? I know, the man who says, "Yeah, I'm full of no now," you know. But the young brother is he may he will just be quiet, and he's very good with his school work. You will see now they say, "Oh, my, you know, oh, I well behave." I'll be like. This boy is well behaved, ha. If he come and do craftiness for you, yes, sir. <laughs> so you you should know how to correct them in love and you know make help the children feel alive and you know and enjoy being children. Thank you very much for your time. I hope I've not bored you in any way. Give God praise for the privilege to be in our midst this afternoon. I'm standing here on behalf of the chairman of this occasion. I'm the grandma. God bless you all as you listen to his speech. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Chairman opening remarks. Good afternoon, my people of Comfortville. My beautiful children, staff and teachers, school management, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you to this special occasion of our Pupi's graduation ceremony. Hope we are happy to be here. Are we happy to be here? Children, are you happy? Graduates, are you happy? Parents, are you happy seeing your children graduating? If you are happy, can you shout and thunder? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen! I pray we all enjoy ourselves here today in Jesus' name. An African proverb says, no matter how long it takes, a stammerer will successfully pronounce his or her name. Yes. I say it once again. That proverb means a lot. It says, no matter how long it takes, a stammerer will successfully pronounce his or her name. That is to say that no matter the challenges we have been having in this, our country, and no matter the hardship we are all faced, and the economic situation, Comfortville is doing their best to move forward and for our children to get the best in terms of academics. We can see that with what happened here today. For we parents that came on time, we saw what the children were doing. If the children are not well taught, I don't think any of them will even stand up 
to begin to say what they told us here today. So can we give our children an applause this afternoon? Yes, children, I say, more kudos to your able in Jesus' name. Amen. In line with their efforts, I want to encourage our parents and guidance to endeavor to bring good ideas, suggestions, and advice, and pay children's school fees regularly on time so that school management will use such funds to move the school to the next level. Mind you, whatever we are doing for our children today, we are doing it for our future because they are our tomorrow. I and you, as time goes on, we are facing out. So if we don't bring these children up in a good way, hmm, we are going to face it at long run. May it never be our portion in Jesus' name. I also want to use this opportunity to congratulate our puppies who have been promoted to the next class and wish them well in their academic pursuits. As parents, who have a special role to play in their lives. They need our prayers. For you parents who do not pray, please begin to pray for these children. They need our prayers. The prayers of children goes a long way in the lives of our children. Yes, they come back from school, pray. They are living in the morning, pray. They are sleeping, pray. Lay your hands on them. Yes, and by so doing, the Lord Almighty will continue to improve in their lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Counsel and advice as they interact with their peer groups and members of the society. Ladies and gentlemen, please feel free. Relax and enjoy yourselves as we have started enjoying ourselves already. There are much to eat and drink here. Yes, relax. You know, today is for comfort view. If you have any appointment today, please do what? Cancel it. Today is for comfort view. Hallelujah. As many that may like to travel during this vacation, I pray that God will lead you all safely to and fro throughout this period in Jesus' name. Finally, I want to pray for all of us here, parents. May the Lord God Almighty bless you all, grant you resources to continue to train these our children as they expected in the name of Jesus. In this second half of the year, we will not cry, you. Hey, hey. We will not cry. We will not weep. We will not be disgraced. Afflictions will never befall any of us. We will not cry concerning the children that we are bringing up. The Lord Almighty will continue to uphold them with his right hand. Yes, so they shall fulfill their destinies. And so shall it be in their lives. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Thank you all and God bless you. Yes. How much should I collect from you now? 500. Ah. Okay. You want to let us get them? Okay. Thank you. Yes. We are children of comfort view. Comfort view. Comfort view. We are children of comfort view. Never be great. Oh, can I be your friend? Oh, thank you. I need the attention of uh, Mrs. Olaoye here. I also need the attention of Mrs. and Mr. Ayeni. Mr. Kisoya. Mr. and Mrs. Yenose. I'm missing you. i Yes, thank you.
thank you. I start coming for. Thank you. Mr. and Mrs. Genose. We're not going to see here. Miss Akisa, yeah, thank you. I have seen you already. Miss Aolaoyi. You can do better. Thank you, mommy. Miss Sir and Mrs. Aye. Yes. Thank you, Miss Sabia. You said. Good day everyone. We are Pami to start. We want to talk about our tribute, our future, which are teachers and parents. By studying our books, by determination, by focusing on our dreams, our goals. Our future is bright, our future is colorful. I know my tomorrow is sure. God is with me. Good day, everyone. My name is Adele Kolodja. I'm here to recite God's name in alphabetical order. A, A Almighty God, B Bread of Life, C Comforter, D Defender, E Immortal, F Faithful and True, G God of My Life, H Armless God, I Intercessor, J Jehovah, K King of Kings, L Light of the World, M Merciful God, N Name Above Every Other Name. O Omega, P Physician, Q Quick Understander, R Refuge, S Savior of the World, C Truth, V U Unspeakable God, W One of the Living Water, X X. Stylophone of God. God. Y, Yahweh. Z, zeal of your arms. Thank you. My name is Santa Badam. I'm here to say that this is the state and capital. And the slogan. I'll be a Umaya God. On stage, I'll be a Umaya land of beauty. And quite a Umaya land of promise. And I'll be a Umaya land of the nation. Bauchi, Bauchi, Pierre of Tourism. By S I N and one glory of all land. Ben Ray Marco the food basket of the nation. Born no magic home of peace. Cause we back all about the people paradise. Delta Asama the big art. A boy in a bakaliki salt of the nation. A do be in the habit of the nation. A kitty and a kitty. Land of one integrity. Any good, any good ghost stays. Gombe, gombe, drone of the savannah. Imo orere is the Islam. Jigawa do sing the new world. Kaduna, kaduna, center of learning. Kano, kano, center of commerce. Kaduna, kaduna, homo hospitality. KBB, Nikebi, land of equity. Kogi, Lokaja, the Gulf of State. Kara is a state of harmony. Lagos, Ikeja, center of excellence. Nasa, Falafia, homo solid mineral. Naija, Mina, the power state. Oh, my best to have to get to a state. Oh, no.
Nigeria has at the system and capital, including a city Abuja, which is at the seven. Nigeria got the independence day for October 1960. Nigeria is known as giant of Africa. Nigeria has speak different language and have different cultures and customs. Nigeria has three major languages, which are the Yoruba, the Hausa, and the Igbo. The present president of Nigeria is President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. The vice president of Nigeria is Senator Kashim Shatima. The senate president of Nigeria is Senator Goswin and Fabio. Nigeria has three arms of government, which are the legislature, the executive, and the judicial. The legislature, they make the law. The executive, they implement the law. And the judiciary, they interpret the law. Don't leave Kofabi. Don't leave Nigeria. And God bless Kofabi. And God bless Nigeria. Thank you. Yes. Now, <laughs> don't worry. Trust you me. Are shown or things like this, any money you yes. give to the children, you spray, you appreciate them, mm -hmm. goes to the school. Yes. It is not for individual. Yes. Not for other people. If you want to give individual after the after the celebration, please take the mother or the father and give. Whatever you give, it goes to the school. And this money is not only for the school, it is shared. The teachers, don't let me go beyond that, thank you. So don't go and put your money in your child's pocket or in the suit. No. The teacher is the teacher that trained them. Hello, yes. the school. Hey John, thank you very much. Thank I think it's your said. Tell these children. I just finished preparing their lunch and it's seven in the morning. I get that is even ready. Samuel, pass it. Where are all these children? It's time for school. Don't be late for school. Bye. Let me also go prepare for work.
naked. It was fine. I was drunk. Okay, let's go. Someone, but it's Jesus, assist me. Are you feeling okay? Reported in the states. 
including 15 people who died and 40 who were discharged. Three suspected cases of cholera have been reported respectively in neighboring Oyo and Ogu states. There are symptoms of cholera which are vomiting, nursing and diarrhea. There are also ways to avoid cholera by not eating other cooked or raw food, by not eat eating contaminated food, by not drinking contaminated water, and food or drink by the roadside. And there are ways to prevent cholera by taking treated water, and water, wash your fruit and vegetable with salty water, and cholera drugs. Parents, please be cautious of your surroundings. Those who are victims of cholera should have a solution for your world before calling a doctor. Wow, that's, that's great. That's great. Come on, man. Yes, there we go. Graduate dance, be prepared. All the graduates, please. Good day now, prepare. All the graduates. Yes, there they come. From my one champion's presentation.